So, brother, sister, you know why we out here? All right, why are we out here? Tell me. To educate to who we really are. All right, so what have you learned since you've been here? Well, how have you been educated? Well, so far I've learned that we are not African. We're not Africans? Okay, who are we? We're the Jews, okay? Now, which tribe do you come from? You come from the tribe of Judah. Very good. Now, do you know who else also came from the tribe of Judah? How do you know? It was a good guess, right? Okay, we'll come back to that. What tribe do you come from, brother? You see yourself on this side? I guess Judah. <laughs> yeah, Judah. All right. Do you know who else came from the tribe of Judah? The greatest man that ever walked the face of the earth. All right. All right. Let's get it. Let's go to Hebrews. Yep. 714. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So it's evident that our Lord Jesus the Christ came out of Judah. All right. Now, when you see this guy right here, what do you think of? You think of Christianity? You think of passion to Christ? Pretty much, right? Now, huh? It's fake? How do you know this is the fake image? His hair is his hair what? It's, it's not long like this, right? Oh, his hair is not wool like. Absolutely. Okay, what else? How do you know that this is a fake image? That this is not Jesus. It's too light? All right, according to the Bible, right? We're going to get the image of Christ. And we're going to go back into some laws because these are the things that have destroyed our people. For a lack of knowledge, we destroy ourselves. Okay? Let's get that. Uh, Hebrew, no, no, no. Uh, Revelation 1 and verse 1. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to shoot unto his servants. Right. So the revelation means to reveal. If I have my hand in my pocket and I reveal it so you can clearly see it, right? And it's to show unto his servants, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Now that we reveal in Christ through the scriptures, what's your name again, brother? Jamie? All right. And your name, sis? Nikki? All right. I'm Baruch. Jamie, Nikki, Baruch. All right. So, it says that his hair is what? White like wool. His hairs were white like wool. This is Jesus the Christ, all right, from the tribe of Judah, the mighty tribe of Judah. It says his hair was white like wool. This guy doesn't have hair like wool. All right? Even when you look in the glass, in the, in, in the, uh, the stained glass, in the, a lot of the Christian churches have the image of this guy right here. Bring it out. And this is supposed to be a black church. Right. That's hmm. Now that's propaganda. We walked up and down this uh, to, to check out some history today. The pastor came out and said, we don't want that propaganda. Hmm, but that's propaganda. Right. All right? It's a lie according to the Bible. Keep that's reading. Right. As white as snow. So not only is it woolly and textured, but it says it's white in color. This man doesn't have woolly or white hair. Neither does that guy up there. Okay, keep reading. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drank wine in moderation. When you remember his first miracle, he turned water into what? Wine. wine. All right, come on. And his feet. And his what? Feet. Uh-huh. Like unto fine bread. So it said his feet. When you look at your feet, is it usually the same color as your hands, right? Yep. So when Christ, when we look, when he saw the vision, he looked at his feet, and it was like what? As like unto fine bread. What color is brass? When you think of the color brass, what do you think of? You think of white or pink? Now, what do you think of? Think of brown, right? Brass is a derivative of brown, okay? So it's like, he said his feet was like unto fine brass, come on. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. Now, if you burn anything in a furnace, sis, brother, what is it going to come out to look like? Huh? Black. That's super right. black. Christ was a super black man from the tribe of Judah. That's with right. super woolly hair. Right. That's a blessed thing. All right? Now, Christ, we see in the scriptures as a black man. What is that thing? It's called the Sistine Chapel or something like that? Yeah. Where they got the, the, the dude coming down with the long hair, touching fingers with another dude in the naked. What does God, the Father, look like? Do you think the Bible describes that as well? They say he was spirit. Okay. Well, God is 
Son and the Holy Spirit that will make him that. Make him that color too. Gotta be dark skin too. Ah, I'm glad you said that. Okay, okay. All right. So you're saying the Trinity. Okay. All right. We're gonna see what what God looks like, the Father of Jesus the Christ. Okay. Bring it out. Yep. Come on. Daniel chapter seven and verse nine. Bring it out. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. So it said until the thrones were cast down, because all the kings of kingdoms of the earth. America, China, Iran, they're all going down. That's right. That's There's right. not going to be uh, living together in harmony in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Because only there's 12 tribes and there's 12 gates for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right. There's no gate for Moab and there's no, or uh, the Chinese, there's no gate for the so-called white man. Right. Never has been, never will be. Read it again. I beheld to the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. Ancient of Days because God has no beginning and he has no ends. That's what it's going into. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. Now, it said his garment, which means clothing, was white as snow. In order to have a garment, you have to have a what? In order to have clothing on, you have to have what to put on the clothing? A body. All right, come on. And the hair of his head. What? The hair of his head. Not only does he have a body with clothes on it, it says the hair that's on his head, what? Like the pure wool. So that's the right. most high God has a body and he wears clothes. He has a garment that, uh, and he has a head with hair on it. And it's like what? Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. That's right. Hmm. Now you tell me. How many people are, what, what people on the face of the earth have pure, woolly hair? Bring it out, bring it out. What? Say it. The two. Yes. Oh, that's heavy. The so-called black man, the so-called black woman. Pure, woolly hair, the F of Negro descent. Pure, woolly hair. Now, why didn't it say that it didn't have long, stringy hair? Ah, because the father is a black man according to the Bible. Yes. And so is his son. That's why he said, if you see me, you've seen the Father. We look just alike. Right, right. You understand? Now, go to verse, uh, what is that, verse 9? Yes, sir. Yep, come on. Who, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Now go to verse 13. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man. This is talking about uh, the Son of Man, which is Christ. He saw one in the night vision, the son of man. Watch this, because now we're going to go into the separation of the father and his son. Okay, come on. Came with clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days. And they brought him near before him. Verse 13. I saw in the night visions and behold, one like the son of man came with clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days. Now remember who the ancient of days was? It's the most high, right? So it said, one like the Son of Man came to the Ancient of Days. So Jesus the Christ came to his Father, the Most High God, right, the right, Ancient right. of Days. Now that we have that in the Old Testament, that has always been a separation between the Most High and his Son. Right. We're going to get it in the New Testament as well, okay? Give me the book of John chapter 5 and verse 30. Bring it out. I'm going to go around Bring a little bit, okay? Now that we know that there's commandments that we must be keeping, sis and brother, we also have to understand that these doctrines and these philosophies that we've learned in the Christian church is only to destroy us as a people. Right. You understand? Right. So we got to come out of that. That's why we're tearing these things down now. That's okay? right. Come on. John chapter 5 and verse 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. So he said, of my own self, I can do nothing. But he said, I judge as I hear, I judge. Who do you think he heard judgment from? His father. Okay, can you read it? Because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father, which... What, the what? The will of the Father, which hath sent me. So he said, the Father which has sent him. Bring it up. Who's the Father that sent him? Who, who's the Father that sent God, or Christ? Huh? God. His father, right? The Most High God. Remember, he came to him and now he was sent to the children of Israel. Okay? Now, let's go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. We're going to get a few scriptures to show you that there's a separation between God and the Father. 
Yes, sir. And then we go to Acts chapter 7, verse 55. Yep, come on. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Bring now I'll ask you this. How do we get into the kingdom of heaven? We're going to kill two birds with one stone. How do we get into the kingdom of heaven? By obeying his commandments. Now I want to ask you. Do you want to get to the kingdom of heaven? Because I know it's hard. I know it's, I know it's hard and it's supposed to be. It's a battle. It's temptation. It's lust. All of these things. But guess what? We got to go through it. You understand? Just like gold has to go through fire to be tried. That's right, right. His children have to be tried. Because if we're not tried, guess what we'll be doing in the kingdom of heaven? We'll be trying to smoke every tree in the kingdom of heaven. We'll be trying to chip away the, the golden streets and put a chain on. You see, you understand? So he has to try us to know that we would keep his laws. That's right. This is just the pregame. You understand? But when we get to the kingdom of heaven, guess what? The scripture says we shall all be righteous. That's right. right. Ain't going to be no uh, uh, black on black violence, no brown on brown violence, right. calling each other niggas. And guess what? These other nations ain't going to be in the same condition that we in. That's, We're that's gonna right. be at top. The Lord said they're going to be at the bottom. That's right. That's right. You understand? We're going to be top deck. And that's why we have to come back as a people and understand our true power. Right. Watch this. Come on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou would enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the commandments. So, so he said, if thou wilt enter unto life, keep the commandments. But he also said, there is none good but one. And that is who? But God. He said, but it's God. Go to Acts 755. But if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. He says, I'm not good, but God is good. Truly good. He's perfect. And he made us to be perfect. But guess what? We sought out wicked inventions. Sin. You understand that? Come on. Acts chapter 7 verse 55 Bring it out. But he being full of the Holy Ghost uh -huh. Looked up steadfastly into heaven And saw the glory of God And Jesus standing on the right hand of God You see that? So he looked into heaven and he saw the glory of God And Jesus sitting on the right hand of God That's right You understand that? Hold on brother we'll get right to you You understand that they're different all right. They have when it says that they're one. Go to First Corinthians one and ten. When it says that they're one, guess what? We're all supposed to be one. You understand? But we're never going to fuse into one another. But let's see what the Bible says. What it means to be one. Bring it out. Come on. First Corinthians chapter one and verse ten. Bring it out. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing. All speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, uh -huh. but that ye be perfectly joined together, joined together uh -huh. in the same mind and in the same judgment. You see that? Perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment, that there be no divisions among, the, among our people. And that's how the Father is with his Son and his word, which testifies against or, or, or for Christ to the children of Israel. You understand that? So when it says these three three things are one, it's talking about they're all in one accord. The same mind, the same judgment. Okay? All right, what was your question, brother? Um, I just want to know that uh, what was the Holy Spirit? Was he a force or was he a man? I like that, man. That's a very good question. What is the Holy Spirit? Very good. Let's go to Acts. Spirit, you know, some people debate on he's just a force and he's not a person. Uh-huh. But I think he's a person. You think he's a person? I don't think he's just a boy. Okay, tell me, uh, tell me why you think he's a person. Tell me why you think he's a person. Where'd you learn that? <laughs> well, uh, I did some read. I can't remember what I read it at, but I know that he's a person. I know that. Okay. I just, I just know he's a person. How do you know he's a person, though? He, 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 he's not, he, he, you know, I, well, some people think, you know, that the Holy Spirit is just a prison of God uh -huh. and stuff like I'm gonna that. I'm going to show you what the Holy Spirit is because a lot of us... We learned a lot of foolish things in the Christian church, all right. right? I learned it too. I used to believe he was a person and somehow the person would walk into you and become part of you, right? But it's not a person. But I'm going to show you what it is, okay? Read. 
Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Read it out. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Now remember that word. It said that we as the children of Israel always resisted the Holy Ghost. Remember that word. Come on. As your fathers did, so do ye. Now our fathers resisted the Holy Ghost. Which means if for our fathers to resist the Holy Ghost is not a New Testament concept. Right. You understand that? For our fathers to resist the Holy Ghost in the wilderness, the wilderness was before uh, Jesus came on the earth. Right. You understand that? So it's nothing, it has nothing, it, it, it's before the New Testament came. Before John and Luke, okay? Read. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which shoe before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels. It said that we receive the laws by the disposition of angels, okay, and what? And have not kept it. And have not kept it. This is what we read about resisting the Holy Ghost. When it says that we resist the Holy Ghost, we had the laws and did not keep it. Right. The Holy Ghost is the laws of God. That's right. Does that make sense? Now, I want to ask, do you understand? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What? Okay. But, but, now, if Jesus but said it, if no, Jesus said it, would you so, believe it? Your, well, that's, we, we all got different things. All right. Like that, you know? Very good. But remember, we have to be one. Right. As Christ and the Father are one. Right. Having the same mind and the same judgment. So we think about the... Uh, the, uh, the Trinity, the three Trinity. We just went over that. You missed it. You know what I'm saying? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We just went over that. Hold on. We're we gonna get we gonna get into it a little bit deeper for you, okay? First you gotta understand the Holy Spirit, okay? No. What happened in the wilderness to the children of Israel? Uh, they were slaves. No. We came out of Egypt and we went through the wilderness for 40 years. What happened? What happened in the wilderness? We were rebellious unto God's laws, right? Now go to 1 Corinthians chapter 10. We're going to show you what the Holy Ghost is, okay? Do you believe you got to get baptized too? In order to get to the kingdom of heaven? You believe you got to get baptized? Okay. Where'd you learn that from? So you, you believe the Holy Ghost is a person and you got to get baptized to get to the kingdom. He's a separate person. Okay. God and Son. Okay. I really, I, I think that's You believe God loves everybody as well? No. Okay. Very God good. Very good. God We're just trying to figure it out. We're God trying to get the basis of where to go. I, I know right. that. God right. don't not love everybody. Very good, man. I like, I like that you said that. Let's get 1 Corinthians 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it up. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And we're all baptized unto Moses. So when it says that we were baptized unto Moses, the 12 tribes of Israel, we hearkened unto the laws that Moses gave unto us as a people. Right. We were baptized to the laws and the commandments of the Most High God right. under the hand of Moses. Okay? Read. In the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, uh -huh. and did all drink the same spiritual drink. Uh -huh. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. Now, we're going to look at, once we came through the sea, what's the history of the so-called blacks and Hispanics that happened in the wilderness? Watch this. Are you familiar when we came out of Egypt? Okay, all right, cool. But with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now, these things were our examples. To the intent, we should not lust after evil things. So in the wilderness, we were lusting after evil things. And we got thrown down because God said, keep my commandments. Right, right. Now we're getting destroyed here in this Egypt or in this place because we continue to break God's commandments. Right. Like lust, okay? So, so I, got another, I got another question. Hold on. We're going to handle that first question first. And then I would love to come to your second question, all right? Go ahead. As they also lusted, neither be ye idolaters. As were some of them. So idolatry was happening in the wilderness. Like what? This is a form of idolatry. Right, right. Going into the so-called Christian church and worshiping and bowing down to this guy. Bring it up, right. Like the song, Take Me to the King. This ain't no king. Right. Bring it up. <laughs> this, is, this is an imposter. Right. This is the image of the beast. Right. You understand? So we had lust in the wilderness and there was also idolatry in the wilderness. Come on. 
As it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed and fell in one day, three and twenty thousand. Now, Jamie, Jamie, right? All right. So we saw that there was fornication, there was idolatry, there was lust, a lot of evil things in the wilderness, and that's why we got thrown down. All right? Now, when we go back to Acts chapter 7 and verse 51, the laws was given to us, okay, during that time, so we would not continue to commit fornication and idolatry. But what did we do? What did we do with those laws? We broke them. Now, when it says that we resisted the Holy Ghost, it's talking about we, we broke the laws of God. We cast the laws behind our back. Does that make sense? Give me John chapter 6, verse 63. Drop that. I'm going to show you what Jesus the Christ said, okay? Go ahead. John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. Another word for spirit is what? Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost, right? He said, it is a spirit that quickeneth, which means to change. It changes you from the inside out, okay? Come on. The flesh profiteth nothing. Uh -huh. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He said, the words that he speaks, their spirit and their life, it's supposed to change us as a person. Right. What is the scripture in uh, first, Sam uh, first Samuel where, uh, 10, where it says that you shall become another man? 10 and 6. Let's get that. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 6. The spirit is the words of the most high God. The laws are supposed to change us from being an idolater to keeping the commandments. From being a, a whoremonger to now getting married to that system. Okay? That's what the laws of God does to us and for us. Okay? Now watch this. First Samuel chapter 10 and verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee. Now the spirit is the same thing. The Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost, it shall come right. upon thee, read, and thou shalt prophesy with them, uh -huh. and shall be turned into another man. That's See that? Right. It's the Spirit of God, His words, that comes upon you and turns you into another man. Right. You understand that? It's His Holy Spirit, which is His words, brother. Uh, that's that's right. Right. It's not a person. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Basically, you're you saying that's a force. It's the spirit, sure. It's yes. A, a force. Yes, sir. A Let's go to Proverbs one and twenty three. So okay. If if well, okay, okay. okay. You starting to get it? But at the same time, you know, why did why the speaking about that the Holy Spirit speaks to to a person too now? It does. His word is speaking to you right now. Yeah, right. No, 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 so that no, no, you could no, be no, turned no, into no, another no, person. No, 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 no. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us.
For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.